Hey, Simley students, and welcome to this week's edition of the Spooky Spotlight. I'm your trusty host, Shrek, with a very own Princess Fiona. Thanks. Now let's hear about what's going on around school. <laughs> Girls hockey starts at 3 o'clock on Monday. Be there at the Vet Center. <laughs> also on Monday, there's a varsity math team competition here at the one and only Simley High School. Action starts at 3.30. The fall play and Frank's Diary starts Thursday at 7 p.m. Be there. Our very own Cole Conference champ football team plays tonight in the section finals at St. Thomas Academy. Game starts at 7. Make sure to wear your red Spartan gear for the red out game. Shrek, dear, do you know what you get when you cross a vampire with a snowman? No, Fiona, what do you get? Frostbite! <laughs> did Donkey tell you that one? Donkey? Donkey! Donkey, did you tell her that joke? I told you to quit telling her such dumb jokes. The long-awaited presidential election is just around the corner. Dan tells us more. In anticipation of the election on Tuesday, we wanted to see which candidates similar students prefer. I support McKay because he was a veteran and is experienced in politics and was a senator for a very long time. Although some people prefer McCain's senatorial experience, other people prefer Senator Obama's new perspective on the presidency. So yeah, I'm supporting Obama in this election because I agree with his policies more than I do with McCain's right now. I like Obama's uh, financial aid for colleges, that's going to be cool. He's an environmentalist and I, I support that. If you have a truly independent perspective, there's always third party candidates such as Ralph Nader. Nader is the most persistent politician I have ever heard of and I respect him and he's brilliant. You know, the thing between Obama and McCain is that Obama says McCain sucks, but McCain says Obama sucks. And Ralph Nader, you know, he's just kind of chilling on top. You know, nobody's ever said he sucks. Irrespective of which candidate you prefer, for all seniors who turn 18 before the 4th, it's important that you get out and vote. Uh, seniors who are, who are 18 should, uh, by next Tuesday should definitely take advantage of a right that many people in the world do not have, and that's to choose their leaders. Uh, it's not too late to study the issues and study the candidates if you haven't already. Uh, and go out and make uh, the best choice possible next Tuesday. Mr. Gadd's students conducted a poll of 154 similar students and found that 63% favor Obama, 26% favor McCain, and 11% remain undecided. This has been Dan Grundle reporting for the Spartan Spotlight. Sure wish I could vote, but if you can, make sure you get out there and do it. Thanks, guys. Enough with the political mumble jumble. Let's get back to Halloween. Let's go out to Kayla Vader and find out more about the history of the jack-o'-lantern. Hello, Simley, and welcome to the dark side. Have you ever wondered why people carve pumpkins? That's a good question. No. I do not know why people carve pumpkins. I don't know, just for decoration, maybe? No, but I think it's because, like, to ward off people's fears. The story behind carving pumpkins is actually when Stingy Jack tricked the devil into not being able to claim his soul, and then he wasn't allowed into heaven. The devil just threw a hot coal at him so he could find his way in the dark, and he put it in a squash, starting the tradition of jack-o'-lanterns. I also asked kids if they knew where carving pumpkins originated. I don't know, probably like somewhere in Europe. No, no I did not know that. Carving pumpkins actually originated somewhere in Ireland. The coolest jack lantern I ever saw was a carving of a witch. It was really sweet. It was a pirate face. Pretty cool. Now that you know a little bit more about carving pumpkins, maybe next year you'll be a little bit more enthusiastic about carving them. Thanks, Kayla. I still haven't carved my pumpkin, but I did find a great costume. Looks like Trevor found some good ones, too. Hey, Simley. It's Halloween today, and I'm a banana. Let's go see what other people's costumes are. <clears throat> And we were off to go find some nifty costumes, but we went out to go ask you silly students first. My uh, favorite costume would have to be Steve Urkel. My favorite costume during Halloween is Ninja Turtles. Uh, my favorite Halloween costume would 